Hey guys, Tickman here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix your iPhone if you're not getting any sound through your phone whatsoever. By the end of this video, hopefully this will be resolved. So let's get started. So first thing you wanna do is whenever you're having an issue, if you have a case, sometimes the case could be obstructing the actual speaker. So first thing is go ahead and take up the case and see if you're getting sound. It's a common thing, but sometimes there are cases that blocks it. Now, the next thing you wanna check on your left hand side are these buttons you'll see here. This is the volume up button and the volume down button. We wanna make sure our volume button, up button is all the way up raised. And you can see that in the screen when I press it, when it's lowered like this, it's off. And then when I press it all the way, you can adjust the volume. So you're gonna make sure it's all the way up. Along with that, you'll see there's a button, there's a toggle button for silent, which if you push it down, it'll say silent, just like that. You wanna make sure this is toggled up, just like that, so the ringer, if you're having issues with it, is on. So upward, just like that, and then the volume all the way up. It's common, but it's something to really check. Now, the next thing you wanna check if you're still having issues is Go hop over to your settings, and this time in settings, you're gonna wanna look for or this option for sounds and haptics. So if you look here, there's a bunch of options, but you'll see sounds and haptic, and you'll see here now you can adjust the volume of your ringtone just by adjusting this as well. So you wanna make sure that is adjusted correctly and see you can hear sounds like that. If it's all the way down here, your ringer won't work and volume will not work and the sound will not work as well. So always good to check that as well. Now, the next thing you wanna do if you're having issues on your phone is go ahead and check that you can use a headphones. If you have a headphone, go ahead and plug in your headphone right there and see if you're getting sound through your headphone so that to make sure that it's not the speaker themselves that are broken and that you can still get sound. Along with that, you'll see there's speakers at the bottom here. Sometimes what it helps is if you make sure those are clear of any dust or debris that could get in there, which happens if your phone is in your pocket. You could take a pretty much uh, like old toothbrush and just rub it and it will pretty much uh, remove any dust from it. Or if you take any anything really simple, just wanna make sure it's clean just like that. Again, over time it happens, but we do see sometimes build up that can make your phone not be able to deliver sound. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you wanna do is, if it's still not working, is hop over to your settings. And this time in the settings here, we're gonna look for, for here, we're gonna go ahead and check out our accessibility option. And then in the accessibility option, you'll see here, there's one for under hearing, audio and visual. You wanna click on that. And here, all the way down here, you see this balance option. So you wanna make sure this balance is in the middle. But let's say you're having issues on the left side or the right side for the sound. You might wanna to toggle this to different sides and then try to play music something that will play sound basically and see if that adjusts and fixes your problem. If that is, that could be one side is not working correctly, so you might have to just move it over to the other side. Now, after that, if you're still having the issues, the next thing you can do in troubleshooting this is making sure your Bluetooth is turned off. So the Bluetooth option, sometimes if you connect it to other audio devices like speakers or headphones, it might be routing your actual sound over there and you might not even think about it. So go ahead, click on those Bluetooth settings in your settings, you can turn it off just like that or scroll from the top here and then you can also turn off Bluetooth just like that and just go ahead and test it out. And if that's the case and it's working, that means your audio is getting moved over to some other connection which you can check here where it's connected and you can disconnect from that by clicking the icon, either forget that device or simply remove it. But that's another thing to check. Now, after you have done that, you're still having the issue, the next thing we want to do with our phone is do a forced restart. So a forced restart will happen by clicking the volume up really quick and then volume down really quick. And then we're gonna hold the side button on the right hand side. So in real time, we're gonna do volume up, volume down, and then I'm gonna hold that side button just like that. You're gonna hold it just like that for until the screen goes completely black. As you can see, I'm just holding the right hand side. I'm waiting for the screen to go completely black. And when the Apple logo reappears again, I'm gonna let go of that button. And that's doing a forced restart. This will not delete any of your personal data like videos, photos, apps, or anything like that. All it will do is simply give a fresh reload of the code and reboot in a way that if there's any software issue, it will fix it. And then once that happens, you're gonna go back into your phone again one more time and check out your sound. Now, if you're still having the issue, the next thing you wanna do is go into your settings, go to general, and then software update, and look to see if there is a software update out there. Because sometimes what happens is 
previous update might have happened and it might have had caused the issue with your sound so if there is a new update out like this one you're going to download and install it make sure you're in a good wi-fi and connect it to a power source or have your battery at least 50 percent or more so you can go ahead and do the update itself this generally takes between half an hour to 45 minutes maybe less maybe longer depending on how big the update is but do take some time when you do any sort of software update give yourself some time now after you have done that and you're still having the issue the next thing to do is again in the settings here this time we're going to go to general all the way down where it says transfer a reset iphone we're going to click on that we're going to click the first option for reset and the reset that we want to do is pretty much reset all settings but before you do that what does that do well that does not delete your photos videos apps anything like that so no personal data is deleted but it does reset all of your settings so far that you have done for things like network which is like wi-fi and vpn setting your key or dictionary your home screen layout and also location and privacy service uh setting so make sure you know what you're doing but it's something you'll need to do if you're still having issues with sound now after you have done that and your your sound isn't fixed yet the, the next thing you want to do is simply check if there's a recall on your iphone for sound so we start to notice the iphone 12 lineup has some recall on it in order to check that you want to go ahead and google apple service program so apple service program as you see here if you click on that it pretty much tells you all the recalls that are happening as you can see here there's a big issue right now going on with the iphone 12 and the 12 pro uh sound which are getting no sound and your phone might be illegible if all of these steps that we mentioned didn't work for you in order to do that simply either find the authorized apple uh, provider or go to the apple store or contact apple support by clicking on any of these options and they can pretty much help you to figure out if your phone is affected by that recall and they can potentially uh, fix it for you or give you a replacement device so again come check for this page as uh, sometimes with phones as they come out and things are discovered apple will release this but not tell everyone but it's good to at least check if there's a recall because you can get it fixed or replaced completely free for you lastly if none of these work for you and it's not uh, working for you the one thing you can do is back up and restore your iphone back to factory setting and then restore it from the backup that you did which we explain in another video which is a little bit more uh you know advanced which we, we want to check that out if you're having the issue so hopefully by end of this video that we have done your issue has been revolved resolved and you guys have sound on your iphone if so please make sure that like and subscribe button if this video was helpful in any way thanks for watching guys see you guys next time